let's take a problem on cylinders king's palace is having 60 pillars each of them having a height of 12 meter each okay the radius of each cylinder cylindrical pillar is 7 meter find the total curved area of the pillars if the cost of covering these pillar with cloth is 84,000 find cost of cloth per meter So we are told that there is a king's palace, okay, which is set up on various cylindrical pipes, right? And there are 60 pillars in all. The height of the pillar is 12 meter, the radius is 7 meter. We need to find out the total curved area of the pillars. What we are told is that these pillars are cylindrical. So we know that the total curved area of a pillar which is cylindrical is 2 pi r h into 2 into pi into radius. Radius is how much? 7 meter into height 12 meter. 7 goes, 7 goes. What do we get? 2 into 22, 44, 44 into 12, which will give me 12 toes are 48, 4, 48 and 4, 52, 522 meters square. So the total curved area is basically 528 meters square. Now let's see the second part. <coughs> if the cost of covering these pillar with the cloth is 84,000 find the cost of cloth per meter. Now what we are told is that if you start covering this pillar with the cloth, the cost of covering 60 pillars is 84,000. Right? You are told to find out what is the cost of cloth per meter. Now please notice one thing, 84,000 is the cost of covering 60 pillars. So cost of covering one pillar is equal to how much? 84,000 upon 60. So the cost of covering one pillar is 1400, right? And the total curved area of the pillar is 528 meters square. So what is the cost of cloth per meter? Is equal to total cost of one pillar divided by area.
which is 1400 divided by 528. The numbers are complex. Let's do the division. I think it will go by 4. 1, 1 carry, 32, 3, 50, 175, 66, C3, no, it doesn't go off. So 75, 175 by 66. And when you do the division, you will basically get, I think this will be 2, 43 by 60. So this is the cost per meter of the cloth. 2 rupees and somewhere around 80 pesa. Did you get it? So we were supposed to find out the curved area of the pillar. Why the curved area? Because the area which is stuck in the ground. Please note, I mean, these are not stupendical situations. The area which is here and the area which is here cannot be covered with the cloth. So that's why you were told to find out the curved area. And the cloth can also be encircled around this area only. So you have to consider that for the purpose of your calculations.